So one really interesting thing that you are involved in, which blows my mind, is about eating insects. <laughs> First question, have you eaten an insect? Um, actually, we all eat insects all the time. So I don't know what you had for breakfast, but lots of people tend to have toast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I was a toast. You were, yeah. you were a toast. Um, <laughs> and there are tiny, tiny parts of insects in bread, in pasta. Um, do you eat chocolate? Yes. Okay, so in every 100 gram bar of chocolate, there's about 30 parts of an insect, just tiny, tiny ground down mm -hmm. because we, we literally can't, take them out so we're eating insects all of the time but the work that I'm specifically looking at well one of the things that I'm looking at in the food system is how entomophagy that's the eating of insects could be a sustainable food um, kind of here in the UK and more widely and uh, in that context the World Health Organization said that uh, it's something that we should look to explore in the West um, globally, we've got about 2 billion people every day eating insects, and that's because they are massively high in protein, they have great micronutrients, um, more protein per weight than beef, um, and don't have the consequences that some other food production has. So, for example, beef produces quite a lot of methane, um, whereas insects don't. They have a uh, smaller water uh, need, smaller food need. So they're quite sustainable to look at. And talking about edible insects, lots of people go, oh my gosh, that's, that's really horrid. Um, but it's a great way into talking about sustainable mm. food and get people thinking. Definitely. So I, I'm a vegan. How many minutes did it take before <laughs> I told everyone that on the podcast? Um, and I find it really interesting because having read about eating insects, I'm more inclined to eat insects because I've read about how much more sustainable the farming mm. methods are, how, um, how there's only a small amount of space that's needed, small amount of water all of these things I'm like actually if I um you know if I was thinking of eating animal-based protein maybe this is the way should I be getting bugs from my garden oh no please no don't. no no <laughs> please don't um no uh, uh insects are farmed in re uh, the, the the levels of hygiene and the, mm -hmm. the, the the tick boxes that they have to do are just massive so please don't go out and pick things out of your garden uh, I only have uh, the, the food that has been produced to eat so that's uh, insects uh, for food um, rather than for feed because lots of our mm. pets so lots of pet food lots of fish food um, some of our listeners may have reptiles and they feed crickets to those also don't don't have a little try of those <laughs> try All the ones right. that are actually <laughs> for human consumption